Most Ashbrook scholars choose politics for their senior thesis. However, for senior Andrew Spees, sports will be the focal point of his debate. Uh, so every Ashbrook scholar gets a scholarship every year, and your senior year you are tasked with writing a senior thesis. So it's supposed to be a capstone of everything that you've learned. Uh, my topic's about football. I didn't want to make it about politics, so I'm writing about f football this year. So it's usually a paper around 50 pages. Uh, you work with an advisor, and you write through the fall and spring semester, and then you publicly defend it. So it's just a lengthy paper about something that you're interested in or something that you've come across uh, in your undergraduate career. Andrew then gave a brief summary of his work. So my thesis is going to be on developing a cultural culture of excellence in an organization. So I'm looking at the Browns for my case study specifically, but really the topic is how do you take a group of people and teach them how to be excellent. So. Bill Belichick with the Patriots has obviously developed a method to create a great team. The Browns, however, have had 30 quarterbacks in the last 20 years. Like, there's some kind of disconnect there. Like, the Browns aren't following the method or they haven't found their own. So my question really is how do you develop a culture of excellence in an organization looking at the Browns specifically for my case study? One of the questions I came across is, like, why are the Browns so dysfunctional? Like, there's obviously a method to winning. The Browns used to be good. Like, the Browns weren't always bad. I wanted to understand how did the Browns go from being so good, like you could have called them a dynasty. Paul Brown led the Browns to, what, to eight championships in 30 years. From 1946 to 19, 1955, they played in every single championship. Like the Browns were good. I wanted to know what happened after that that made the Browns so consistently bad. You can listen to Andrew defend his thesis this coming April at the Ashbrook Center.